this is not a photo video. I'm going fishing. It's uh, September 3rd and I'm going down to the Ruby Dew Creek which holds both um, trout and I'm hoping some smallmouth bass. I'm taking the fly rod only. If I took a spinning reel, I'd be tempted to use a spinning reel. But, uh, don't know, it's 1241, leaving the house. It'll take me about, I don't know, 15 minutes to get where I want to fish. There's a little hike back there, and I have to rig up my rod. But uh, come along with me, see if I catch anything. So there's going to be traffic going by on, on the curvy road right beside the Ruby Doo Creek. Wading boots and a pair of socks. The Chacos work good, but you, you uh, always get rocks when you wear your Chacos. So. And I haven't fished this river in a long, long time, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Got my reel ready. Waiting for the traffic. I got my reel already rigged up. I've got my eight weight bass rod that I bought a few years back. I'm gonna build me a rod holder for this uh, forerunner that I drive. This way I can rig before I come out. Here's all I'm gonna carry today. Plus my GoPro and a water bottle. So a double dropper, I'll put this big popper on top. And I think a, either a woolly booger. I have lots of luck with this uh, woolly booger here, so I'm gonna use this crawdad pattern instead. Always second guessing myself. And here's what I got. I've got a four foot leader right behind my popper. So, see how that's gonna work today. This is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start fishing right over there. There's a couple places I can wade out to. I don't know if you can see way out there's my popper. There's a little wind today. Right now it's kind of side wind, so, and all I'm doing, the crawdads on the bottom, is popping that popper a little bit, letting it settle down. So far I've made about five casts and I haven't had a bite or anything. What I've done is I've taken my popper off. It was just pulling down my popper. It's roads right up there but uh, I'm now just fishing the uh, crawdad pattern if I don't get a bite in a little while I'll probably go to my fire tail woolly booger and it looks like I can go quite a ways upstream there I don't see any fish running the flats here though like I said I've never fished this part of the ruby do I fished the upper part Now I'm going to let that settle to the bottom because that's where crawdads live. Now in the woolly booger, I start bringing it in right away. Little short pops, trying to imitate the way a crawdad would crawl along the bottom. I'm just watching the end of my fly line. If I see it move or tighten up, that's usually an indication that you've got a fish on. I'm going to go over here uh, if it doesn't get too deep and try to catch or try to fish those shadow areas, see if there's something in there maybe. I got a fish. 
I don't know what it is. I think it's a perch. I maybe, yeah, it's a little. I think it's a goggle eye. Yeah, it's a little goggle eye. These are good eating if you get them hand size. But there's my first fish of the day, so I'm not getting skunked. Not bad. Guess how it got its name. Look at those eyes. This uh, crawdad comes in a kit. I forgot. Fish skull, I think it's called. And it's the first fish I've caught on it, a goggle eye. I, I kind of was hoping it'd be for smallmouth, because smallmouth, most of their diet is crayfish or crawdads. I'm going to cross the log right here and see how far upstream I can get on this side. Get this leaf off my crawdad. Well, I should say I caught that one goggle eye and that's been it so far. But I'm not seeing fish. So I may have to go downstream. Now this is why I love the Ozarks. Look at that beautiful bluff up there. I didn't do any good upstream. So I'm going to go down here and pick up my tripod and see what I can find downstream. Uh, I only saw this one bass, maybe two in this one hole. I do see lots of minnows, so here's this big sycamore. Look at all the leaves right there. Whoa, almost went down there. Even if the fishing is slow, look at that scene. Isn't that beautiful? I just saw a big splash right up there. That uh, bluff right there is what we call the Crocker Bridge, Crocker Bridge Bluff. When I was in high school, we used to party there all the time, kind of over my party years. I'm gonna fish this little hole right here. I've seen that big splash, so I'm gonna try this. I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's a little bass on the Clouser minnow. Yep. It's a small mouth. I caught him right over there by the rocks. He's not very big, but he is a fish. And that's it right there. We'll let him go. Can't believe this hole didn't have a fish in it. I fished it pretty good, but nothing in there. One more cast, let's see. Maybe if I had the camera on, it'll bring me luck. So, here we go. I'm gonna cast it up there and let it drift down. You would think there'd be a bass sitting right at the end of that or some kind of fish waiting for something to float down to it. That looks like a deep hole right there. I see some suckers swimming down. And that may be a bass right there. Now those are suckers, I think. Can't tell. Fish on. Nice little bass. I love catching me some bass on a fly rod. He's a little bigger than the last one. I caught him out there in the deep. I just let this fly drift through that hole. Not bad. Clouser minnow comes through again. Hmm, I had him hooked good. There he goes. Yeah, I wish I had my tape measure. Not sure how big he is. Nice smallie. Oh, he's really fighting to. Oh, there he goes. I gotta keep him out of the trees. Oh, this is why you fish. Uh, get him on my reel if I can. Oh my gosh, he's a chunk. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Got those red eyes. I don't have a net with me, so I'm going to have to... And I'm on a steep bank here. Boy, that was nice to see that guy. Look at this guy. I don't know how long he is. I think I got 12 inches. 
Yeah, he's over 12. I, I'm gonna guess him about 14 inches. What a beautiful fish. And on this fly. Yeah. Well worth the effort. And there he goes. I saw another one chasing him and I caught him right down there by that log. So I'm gonna cast down there again. That was fun. Well, I can't go any further. The trees has got me blocked here and I don't feel like climbing that bank there. And if I go that way, it gets real deep. The water does so. I'm gonna head back upstream, pick up my tripod. I may try to hit that hole where I caught the big one again. Way back, I stopped at the hole where I caught the big one just to see if maybe I could pick up another one. Decent sized one, not as big as the last one, but he's right underneath the tree there. I was just about to give up on this hole. He may be a goggle eye. No, he's, yeah, it's a goggle eye. Nice goggle eye. And I was just about to give up on this hole. Yeah, maybe it's another goggle eye. Yeah, it's another goggle eye. This is a little guy. But I'm getting it right underneath the tree and I think that's where they're all at. Uh, I can't remember, I think I caught five or six fish. I guess the video show, I hope I recorded the big one, but uh, it was a good evening. Uh, afternoon, I should say. Yeah, we'll, uh, may have to come down this hole this winter. They say when the Gasconade gets real cold, the smallmouth like to come up into the ruby dew. So I'm going to maybe drive down to the bridge and see what it looks like down there. Really surprised this hole didn't produce nothing. I'm gonna cast a couple times in there, let it drift down by that log. It seems like there ought to be a fish laying right at the base of that. So let's see, maybe if I leave the camera on, it'll bring me luck. It seems like that ought to be laying right behind that log over there. Yes, I got one. I called it right. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a little bass, I think. Yep, it's a little smallie. So all I did was throw up behind that log. Any place there's a seam like that, you can catch a small mouth, or at least well, that's a light-colored smallmouth. He ain't a bad-sized one. He didn't fight as good as that big one. I see my tripod down river here, or up river here. I broke my fly off, so I'm gonna call it a day. The best time of fishing is evenings. I may come back sometime. And this area right here looks looks pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. And you gotta remember, I was out here four hours and you're gonna see it in about 10 minutes. So it wasn't that fast of fishing, it was kind of slow. But that one fish was worth the, the effort coming out. Get all the minnows. Can you see them? I may try this in January, February, dress real warm and see if those small mouth actually swim up from the gasconade or below the gasconade i don't know oh there's a vehicle i say this every year i need to i need to fish more often uh this is close to home and i i really want to try fly fishing it this winter and see if the smallmouth actually come up from the gasconade okay uh hope you enjoy this video uh, come back. I have photography videos on here, too. I may need to call it uh, photography and fishing Mo Ozark photos and fishing